What's up everybody? It's your boy K Ray. Back at you again. So what I'm gonna be doing today, I'm gonna do some uh, pork style uh, fajitas. What I got here is just uh, the little skirt part off of uh, my ribs uh, that I uh, cut off when I'm cutting them St. Louis style. That's some pretty good meat. And uh, you know, I don't throw mine away. You know, I just use it try to come up with some different dishes um, um, to use it with so you know I've done it before and uh, they come out really really good so what I'm gonna do is marinate them I'm gonna use some of this Laura's uh, Santa Fe chili marinade and I'm gonna just use some of this uh, fajita seasoning for it so what I'm gonna do is just put a good liberal coating of fajita seasoning on top of it and just marinate it like in a, in a gallon freezer bag. So um, I'll be back at you in a minute later. All right, everybody, I am back. Got the marinade on the meat, ready to go in the fridge. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just put it in the fridge for about maybe two to three hours, let it marinate real good. And, um, and after it's ready, I'll be ready to get to get it on the grill. All right, later. All right, everybody, I am back. Got my grill going. Get ready to put this uh, these pork fajitas on. Got it marinated, meat marinated real good. I mean, like what I ended up doing, I had to marinate these overnight because um, it rained yesterday and I didn't feel like cooking after it rained. So, still looks good put them on, on here on direct heat, get them seared up real good, and uh, finish them up indirectly. Get these cracking, get back at you in a minute, later. All right, I am back. As you can see, I got the, the little pork skirt steak, I mean, well, the pork skirt off my uh, ribs going, just getting a nice little sear on them, about two, three minutes per side, and uh, after that, I'm going to just pull them to the side and finish them up indirectly. Get back at you in a little bit. Later. Wow, as you can see, it's raining again. Just my luck, but um, I'm going to just finish everything up inside. Got a uh, meat is coming along good, but uh, got about five more minutes on that, so I may just finish up out here. I think I'm pretty good under this talk. We'll see later. All right, everybody, I am back and um, got my veggies sauteing up. We got some red, green, and yellow bell peppers, some onions. A little vegetable oil on them, some season. I just use my all-purpose season that I make and put on it. So I'm just saute these up. Man, it's smelling really, really good out here. And the sun and pop back out. Can't believe it. Rain for like 20 minutes. Kill my vibe. But I'm back out here. So I'm just let this go for maybe about 10 minutes total, and then I put my meat in and uh, saute the meat up in there. And this is how my meat came out. Man, take a look at those, uh, just little extra meat from the uh, rib. Really good. So, uh, get back at you in a minute later. All right, everybody, I am back. Let my veggies roll for about eight minutes. Toss my meat in there. So what I'm gonna do with the meat, probably let it roll for about seven or eight minutes, so it'll be a total cook time, maybe 15, 16 minutes um, for, for the veggies and uh, the meat. Take a look at that, man. It's gonna be some mighty fine eating right there, I tell you. And it's already paid for cheapest fajitas you'll ever eat. <laughs> All right, later. All right, everybody, I'm back. Got everything ready to go. About to build a couple of fajitas. Give it a taste test, see what it's like. 
I made some uh, salsa to go with that. Got some peaches, tomatoes, jalapenos, red onions, uh, fresh jalapenos, matter of fact. It's really good looking stuff. Take a look at that. Tell me what you think. So, we use some flour tortillas today. A couple of them, put on the grill, heat them up pretty good. Take some of those pork style fajitas left over from uh, the ribs. What I use, I use the skirt part um, of, the, of the ribs uh, from the St. Louis cut. Marinated them in some Lara's uh, Santa Fe chili marinade overnight. And man, they got a good little taste, good little kick to them. Use my favorite, my Cheddar Jack. Load it up right there. Put some of my picho de gallo on there. It's gonna go real good with that pork and that uh, marinade that's on there. Got a lot of sweet in it from the peach and a nice little kick from, uh, from the uh, fresh jalapenos that's in there. Couple more jalapenos on there. All right, I think them bad boys look pretty good. Yes, indeed. Get one of them a taste test to see what we got here. Big, meaty, that's what I like. Oh yeah, you can taste those peaches right out the gate. A little heat from the jalapenos, really good. And the meat, man, is like pretty amazing. Tender, good, good season. Got some good smoke on it. I did use some hickory smoke when I was cooking them. So uh, it's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Think I can work with that. Good lunch. Good lunch for me today. Like I always say, I appreciate everybody stopping by, checking me out. All the subscribers, all the new subscribers, all the old subscribers. You know, all my barbecue brothers, cooking brothers is all good. Um, appreciate the comments and the likes. So it's K Ray. From K Ray's Q, Texas style barbecue and Southern cooking. And I get back with y'all in the near future. Peace.